All right, so get this. We're diving into some pretty cool research today about this new diet. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's called NIME diet. Uh, that's N-I-M-E. It stands for Non-Industrialized Microbiome Restore. Okay. And you send over this article about it, and honestly, the name itself, I was like, what is that? But right. the more I read, the more I got excited about how this could change the way we think about food and, you know, like our health, especially the gut microbiome. Yeah. I mean, it's really interesting research because, you know, we see uh, all these fad diets all the time. Oh, and this is like something completely different. It's Going back to like how people in non-industrialized societies eat traditionally. Exactly. And the article talks about this study that was published in Cell and the results are kind of amazing. They're mm -hmm. seeing these like big improvements in cholesterol levels blood sugar control, inflammation, mm. all in like three weeks, which is crazy. Yeah, it's really fast. Like a 17% reduction in bad cholesterol. Wow. A 6% drop in blood sugar, and then a 14% decrease in C-reactive protein, which is a marker of inflammation in the body. It's a lot in a short amount of time. Yeah, it is. So, okay, before we get too far into it, let's back up a little. Okay. The article starts by describing the typical modern diet, you know, like in developed countries. Yeah. And it's not great. Lots of processed foods, low in fiber, all about convenience. Yeah. And it makes you think, no wonder we're seeing all these chronic diseases. Well, that's what they call it, the Western diet, right? Right. It leads to a lot of problems. And that's why researchers are going back and looking at these traditional diets for ideas. So the Nine Diet is based on what people in these non-industrialized societies eat, mm. like in rural Papua New Guinea. And what's interesting is they tend to have these really diverse gut microbiomes right. with less of the bad bacteria that cause inflammation. Exactly. And that's kind of what got these researchers thinking. What if eating more like these traditional diets could make a difference? Interesting. Like what if it could actually improve the gut microbiome and in turn someone's overall health? And that's exactly what they found. Yeah. The Nimi diet seems to lead to this healthier gut microbiome, and then all these good things start happening in the body. Like dominoes. Yeah, totally. So not only did they see a decrease in those pro-inflammatory bacteria, right. but it seemed like there was also a good impact on the genes that protect the gut's mucus lining. It's pretty incredible. And here's the thing that I thought was really interesting. What's that? The people in the study lost weight on this diet, yeah. and they weren't even told to, like, cut back on calories. I know. That's kind of what blew my mind, too. It makes you rethink that whole calories in versus calories out thing. Right. Like, maybe what we eat is more important than how much we eat when it comes to weight. It really seems that way. It feels like we're only just starting to understand how powerful changing our diet can be. Yeah. Not just for weight, but for our health in general. It's pretty exciting. Okay, so let's break this Nimi diet down a little more. Sure. What does it actually look like? Well, it's mainly a plant-based diet with lots of whole foods. Okay. I think lots of vegetables, legumes, whole grains, but you can still have some animal protein once a day. Got it. Like chicken, salmon, or pork, but it cuts out dairy, beef, and wheat. Really? Yeah. So no dairy, beef, or wheat. That's interesting. And it's really high in fiber, too, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. The article said like 22 grams per 1,000 calories. Which is a lot. Most people aren't getting anywhere near that. Nope. And fiber is super important for gut health. In what way? Well, it's like food for the good bacteria in our gut. Okay. So it helps them to grow. And all that fiber also helps get rid of waste and toxins. So basically, it's like cleaning things up in there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Keeps the gut environment healthy. It's amazing to think that just upping your fiber could make such a big difference. It really is. Huh? But, you know, this research could have implications beyond just personal health. Oh, yeah. The article mentions that. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, think about it. What if they started including these principles in, like, dietary guidelines? Hmm. That could really change things for public health. Right. Like, if everyone was encouraged to eat more whole foods, more fiber. Yeah. And to think about gut health. That could be huge in terms of preventing chronic diseases. Absolutely. It makes you wonder why we haven't been focusing on this all along. Seriously, it seems so fundamental. Right. And imagine if they started developing new food products based on this whole microbiome thing. Oh, that's a really cool idea. Like foods that are specifically designed to feed the good bacteria. Yeah. It's like personalized nutrition based on your own gut microbiome. Exactly. Now that's exciting stuff. But let's be real for a second. Okay. The Nime diet is pretty different from how most people eat, especially in developed countries. Yeah. Do you really think people will change their diets that much? That's a good point. There are definitely some challenges. Like what? Well, for one thing, fresh whole foods can be expensive. True. 
and not everyone has access to them. And then there's the cultural aspect. Right. Like food is part of our traditions and celebrations. Exactly. Yeah. It's not easy to just tell people to eat in a totally different way. So how do we make this work? How do we get people to actually apply this research? I think education is a big part of it. We need to help people understand why gut health is so important. And how their food choices affect it. Exactly. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be about being perfect or following some strict rules. So like small changes can help. Totally. Even adding more plant-based meals, swapping out processed snacks for whole foods, gradually increasing fiber. It all adds up. Exactly. It's about giving people the information and the tools to make good choices for themselves. Not just saying, here's the one right way to eat. Right. And that's what I really like about the researchers behind the Nimi diet. What do you mean? They're making all the recipes public so anyone can access them. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a great example of making science practical. Making it so people can actually use it. Exactly. It's inspiring to see that. It really is. You know, this whole deep dive has really got me thinking. Me too. What stands out to you the most? Hmm. I think it's that we've been so focused on calories and macros. Yeah. And we've kind of ignored this whole other aspect of nutrition. The gut microbiome. Right. It's like we're finally starting to understand what our bodies are trying to tell us. Like we've only had half the puzzle pieces. Exactly. And now with this research on the microbiome, we're seeing the full picture. Yeah. And the exciting thing is it's not like we can't do anything about it. Right. It's not like we're stuck with whatever gut microbiome we have. We can actually change it through what we eat. Exactly. So as we wrap this up, I'm curious, what are our listeners thinking? Yeah, what's resonating with you about all of this? Maybe you're already planning to eat more fiber. Or maybe you're like me and you want to check out those Naimi diet recipes. It's really fascinating stuff. It makes you think about food in a whole new way. Not just about like filling up or enjoying a meal. Right. It's about feeding this whole ecosystem inside of us. This microbiome that's so important for our health. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know. Whatever you take away from this, I hope you feel like you can make some positive changes. Yeah, that you have the power to improve your own health. And that you have a better appreciation for just how connected everything is. Our diet, our gut, our overall well-being. Absolutely. Well, this has been a really cool deep dive. I agree. It definitely gives you a lot to think about. Could this Nimi diet, with all this emphasis on whole foods and fiber... And those traditional eating patterns? Yeah. Could it be the key to not only making us healthier individually, but to actually tackling chronic diseases on a global scale? It's a question worth exploring. For sure. And that's what we're all about here, right? Absolutely. Taking these complex topics and breaking them down. So we can all understand them better. And hopefully make some positive changes in our own lives. Exactly. Well, thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the Nimi diet. It's been a pleasure. And until next time, keep exploring, keep learning, and keep taking care of those microbiomes. See you next time.